Okay, I'm going to try to quick show you how to make an auto mailer using the form mule plugin for your spreadsheet. So we're going to make a form. We're going to go up here and say new. Go down. We're going to create a Google form. And I am going to call this form form auto mail and you can there's a lot of different things you can do with this I'm gonna make a real easy one I'm just gonna have a name that you're going to pick and then an email that you're going to enter so I want to put in names here I'm gonna call it name and as I work with my students, instead of typing their names all the time, I have a name list either in a spreadsheet or a file. And here I made up a fake file of two names. So I am going to copy, control copy, go to option one and hit paste. And it's going to populate that multiple choice form for me. I want this to be required. Then I'm going to add a new question. New question is going to be a short answer because they want them to type in their email and then they'll type that in the short answer I also want that required so as we set up the form we're just gonna have two simple things you can make this as complex as you want it and then responses here's where the magic works we're going to create a new spreadsheet for this data from the forms to go into so we're gonna hit create and that is going to create a new spreadsheet. And here is our spreadsheet. So the form that we have, if we look at preview, is going to say, all right, what's your name? Susan Roberts. What's your email? I will use my email. And I'll submit it. And that information is going to populate with a timestamp in my form and you can pretty up your form or pretty excuse me you can pretty up your spreadsheet however you want but here's where the magic happens there is an add-on called form mule which does some pretty awesome stuff if you want to add the add-on you hit add-ons and go down to get add-ons and it'll take you to the add-on store um, a lot of these are free but you'll search for form mule here. I already have it, so I am just going to pick it out of the add-ons. So I'm going to go form mule, email merge utility. I'm going to hit launch. All right, now there's several criteria for form mule. It's going to ask when you want to send it, what, um, what parameters in the sheet it's going to you want to send it for, and what um what the email is going to say that you sent. So how it, what is it going to send? Well, you have to pick what sheet you're going to send it off of. We only have one sheet in this workbook, so we're going to pick form responses one. And this is the data it's going to act on. Now, for what I'm going to teach you, you are going to use the send on form submit. So anytime someone send, sends a new form in, this will send the email based on the parameters. So whenever there's a form submitted, it will send the email as long as the parameters hold true. You can turn that off and just send things manually and use it as an email list. You can set it on a time trigger where it'll send on like this Sunday night so you can get all the forms filled in and then send a mass out all on Sunday night. We're gonna send on form submit. So we got our sheet, we got our forms, hit next. Now it's gonna set the conditions for which it's going to be sent. So you can have a bunch of different templates. You can say, well, do one if row B says this, and do another if, if row C is, there's something in row C or whatever. At this point, we're going to send one template. We're only going to have one email possibility. And you could rename it. In fact, I will. I'm going to call it name. And we're going to send for all rows, but other parameters, you could say timestamp equals blah, blah, blah. Um, and you may have to have a little coding to do this for some of them. But we're going to send for all rows. So if there is something here, it will send. 
So we're going to save that. Then we're going to edit a template. And this is the magic. This is the template name. So what's going to happen is whenever it goes to send something, it'll send the name template. So who do we want it to go to? Well, we click in there and we can go right here with the merge tag. We can merge their email and it'll put the email that's in the email column as the two. And for a subject, we can go hello. And if we want to call them by name, we can go hello name and it will pull the name and say hello Susan Roberts how are you as if we want to waste our time doing this and then the body of the email we can go here it puts name and in between these carrots, the actual name that it pulls, I'm going to delete the name so I can say Susan Roberts, comma, I'm glad you submitted the form smiley face. I could also put in, if I want to send her a link, I can put in a link. I can have other things that have come in through the form or other things that the form will draw in. And I can have all of this go in an email. And then if you want to preview it, you can hit preview and see what's going to happen. So at this point, it's going to attempt to send one. The template is name. It's going to say two. That's my email. And it's going to say, hello, Susan Roberts. How are you? Susan Roberts, I'm glad you submitted the form. And then I could either send that now or I could hit cancel. Um, so here it's going to tell you whether it's sent or not. Since this was already here, it's not going to send because it's not a form submit. So I'm going to do the form again. And I'm going to click Bobby Sue this time. But same email. And hit submit. And as I submit, if we go back to the form, you will see that I have that data. And here it says there was an email sent from Wyalusing Clinton at Gmail to bclinton at wyalusingrams.com. And there's my email. So it's quick and easy. You can get as deep and as detailed as you want, but sending auto emails where you can just have something on your phone where you fill out the form and you say, you know, so-and-so a child was absent and here's their email. It'll send them an email that says, you missed your lesson. Please come. So um, I hope that's helpful for you. If you have any questions, please ask. And I will see you next time.